everybody, welcome back to Glam Me Up. Today I have an interesting video for you and it's an at-home facial routine tutorial thing. It's kind of like a routine but it's also just like what I do when I do an at-home facial. I kind of just call it a facial because it's not my normal skincare routine. It's a little extra that I do about once or twice a week. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. So I'm just going to be going through the stuff that I do. I am going to have a skincare routine coming up after this but this is just kind of what I do once a week. Just kind of as a treat or to clear up any blemishes that I have or if my face feels tired or it needs to be like refreshed and stuff I like to do this. So. This is also to show you how you can clear out your pores. So if you have blackheads and stuff, this is really gonna help with removing them without damaging your skin. So if you're interested in seeing that, then just keep watching. Okay, so when I'm in the shower, the first thing that I do is I use this Clean and Clear Blackhead Eraser Cleansing Mask. And I'm already out of the shower now, obviously, but that's because I needed to let it sit longer. And plus I wanted to show you guys, but I would recommend using this after you're like done with your shower and everything, not before you get out, but after like, you know, 10 minutes or so. That way you've given your skin time to open up and really like soak up in the steam and everything. That way your pores get opened up. That way it's easier to get the blackheads out. So I would wait till the end of your shower and then use this and just apply it all over, focus it on your nose and everything. And then go ahead and rinse it off. And I like to rinse it off using my Olay Pro X cleansing brush. Let me get that for you. So this is what it looks like. And I like to use this on my nose to kind of scrub it out, but I wouldn't use it all over your face because we are going to be using this later on, but definitely use it on your nose. That way it can kind of scrub out the stuff out of your pores, out of the blackheads and stuff. And it will definitely work. You can use it on your chin and your forehead or whatever you might have clogged pores. I know I probably look a little bit scary, but I just want to show you guys exactly how I do everything. So I always start off with that. That's just to kind of clean out my pores and get everything ready. And always do it after a hot, steamy shower. Or if you don't want to take a shower, you can always like fill up your sink with really hot water and lean your face over it. And then put a towel over your head. That way it holds the steam in. And then let your face kind of soak up the steam and will open up your pores and stuff. That way the stuff can really work. Because if, you're, if you just applied this like dry after your face was, you know, you just washed it or something, it's not going to be as open up as if you were in the shower. So I'm going to go ahead and use my brush and I'm going to scrub this off my nose and rinse my face. Okay, so I just rinsed my face off and it already feels really good. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty much cleaned out most of my pores. Um, my face isn't too bad. Like, I don't have really bad acne, but I do have a lot of redness and I have freckles and stuff. And then I do get the occasional acne blemish like up here. But we're going to pretty much clear those up today. So Now, if you wanted to, this would be the time where you would use a pore unclogging strips like... Um, or just a pore strips like these Biore ones. And these do work really well. And I do find that they do pull them out good. They do hurt though. You kind of have to get used to it. But I also find that sometimes it can make them worse. Like it can just leave you with open pores and stuff. And you can see little holes if they're big. Or it can just like leave it open for more bacteria to come in. So I don't really recommend using these. I mean you can if you want. Just see which like works best for you. But I'm not going to use them on my face. Because I found ways to like get rid of the blackheads without ripping them out. Like kind of just dissolving them instead. So I'm going to show you that way too. But if you wanted to you can use this. And I would do it now at this step. Because you've already cleansed your face and you've scrubbed it and stuff. So now I would use this and then follow with the other stuff after that. So. So now I'm going to be applying my mask, and this is a Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask, and you can find this at Walgreens. I think they have a different version of it at CVS, but you can get this at Walgreens, and I really like this. Um, it's just, it's been around forever. It, help, it says it helps dry up acne pimples, rinse away blackheads, and shrink in large pores. Okay, so I would recommend applying this with a dry face just because it's like a clay consistency, and it's a lot easier to spread around your face if it's dry instead of if your hands are wet. It's just going to like fall into a clump and just fall off, so... Squeeze out a little bit and start applying it. And this smells really good too. Don't get this around your eyes either. starting to look scary. <laughs> Apply it pretty thick around any blemishes you want to clear up because this stuff will dry it up. So 
So after I've got that applied, I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes. That's what it says on here, or you can leave it longer, but basically until it turns into like a light, really light green white color, because then you can rinse it off, kind of like the color that's on the bottle here. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a while. Oh, and I also forgot to mention this. You're supposed to leave on, it says, um, leave it on for about five minutes, but if you want to do it into like a mask, leave it on longer, um, no more than like 10 minutes. It says use this one to two times a week. So leave this on about 10 minutes and then I would leave this on about 15 minutes. Okay, so now this is pretty much dry. See, it's ready to crack off. My face feels really tight, but kind of, you can use a scrub if you want to exfoliate, but you can also just use this and it will exfoliate really good. So I'm just going to take this mask off using this. That way I can get the exfoliating done as well. So when you're done rinsing your face, kind of splash it a little bit with some cooler water and it will help to close up your pores and make your skin more even out and stuff. So just use like a little bit cooler water to rinse it. So as you can see, there's even a difference like with the blackheads and stuff and my skin just feels a lot tighter and it feels really good when refreshed after you use that mask. So now the next thing that I'm going to use is this Neutrogena Alcohol Free Toner. And this is my favorite toner because it's just a basic toner. It doesn't have alcohol in it, so it's not going to strip your face of any of the natural oils. So I'm just going to use that on a cotton pad like this. And this is just going to help to remove any extra like product residue left over or oil or anything. Like It's just really going to even out your skin tone and it makes it feel like refreshed because it's adding the moisture back to your face, kind of like adding like water back to it almost but it's got like moisturizing stuff in it because your face feels like really tight and dry after you use all this stuff. So not dry, but it does feel a little bit tighter. So this is good to just add some moisture back to it and close up your pores. Okay, so now I'll definitely let this dry and let everything soak in. Okay, so now that that's dry, I'm gonna use my spot treatment. And this is the Acne Free Terminator Tin, and I've talked about this a lot because it's a really an, it's really an awesome spot treatment. It gets rid of everything. So I'm going to just apply this to my nose just to get rid of the blackheads and this is what's really going to dissolve them away. And I found that this works better than using like pore strips because it really like, if I just use this like two days in a row, they'll completely be gone. And this has 10% benzoyl peroxide in it so that's how it dries it up so good. And then I'm just going to like dab it on any blemishes. And since this can be a little bit drying, it's really good to apply a moisturizer over top of it and then apply a second coat of this like to a blemish. That way it can heal up the blemish and then also keep it from drying out. So while that's sitting, the next thing I'm going to use is my Garnier Nutri Skin Renew Anti-Puff Eye Roller. And this is just really good to depuff your eyes and everything. And it feels really nice. It's got the metal roller ball in it and it's got the caffeine in it to just get rid of the puffiness and the dark circles. And then I'm just going to pat that in. After you use all those products, your face might be dried out. So it's definitely good to finish off with a good thick night cream or moisturizer. So I'm going to use my Olay Night of Olay Firming Cream. This is my moisturizer that I use at night because it's just a thick cream and it works really well. It's very moisturizing. It feels really nice on your skin. And then when you wake up, your face is really soft. So I'm just going to apply this. And I even put this around my eyes too because it's so moisturizing and it almost works with an eye cream too. Take it down your neck too because this area gets dry as well and the skin's really thin so you need to moisturize it good. So then I like to finish off with my eye cream and this is the Garnier Neutronese Ultra Lift Anti-Wrinkle Firming Eye Cream and then I just apply this very lightly around my eyes, just a little bit about that much. 
and this is just extra moisture for around my eye area since it's very thin and delicate it needs extra moisture. So that's it. It's really easy and this is very refreshing and it feels very good and when I wake up my skin's just going to be really nice and clear and it's going to be even and everything and really soft. So I'm just going to apply a second layer of the acne um, spot treatment just right there. And then one of my tricks that I've talked about before in a beauty tip of the week is to use an antibacterial ointment like this one and this is just the generic for the Neosporin and I'm going to put this on any old acne marks like right there and then this one that's just healed right up here and overnight it will completely fade it and you can even use it like once or twice and then it will completely get it to go away so when I wake up that mark will pretty much be gone or it'll fade it more and then this mark will look a lot better so that's a really good trick and it works really great. So I will have all the products that I use listed on my blog so definitely check that out I'll have everything listed with prices and stuff and links to them where you can buy. And make sure you leave any comments or requests below and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!